an organization of residents of Princeton Borough and Township with diverse backgrounds, interests, and talents. Princeton Future has grown out of a concern that much of the planning and proposed development of the critical downtown spaces have been proceeding in an unconnected manner. The aim of Princeton Future is to assist the municipal authority to take a forward-looking and more comprehensive approach. Investigation and consultation undertaken by Princeton Future indicates that these objectives are achievable with good planning. More detailed studies and further involvement of all concerned parties are, however, clearly called for. Might help guide that discussion, but each table uh, is meant to be a, uh, a, a part of our programming process and we're looking to uh, listen to you. Uh, probably the center of gravity of this section of the street uh, is at uh, this spot right here where the municipal building is now located, uh, community park school, the community park pool, and then the recreation area on this side. On this side of the street we have the fire station and we have the Valley Road building which had the municipal offices and is now being used by a variety of community organizations and is mostly used by the school board. Uh, and of course then we have the playing field over here. This is the public works uh, shed or building for the, for the municipality. And then this peculiar intersection of uh, many streets uh, provides a gateway uh, in, into town either by 206 on this side with the park over here, residential area over here, and then a little commercial strip right here. Uh, as we come down, you'll see there are two commercial buildings here and then a row of houses uh, along this side of the street. This is the parking lot, this is the packet. And then there are houses, as you can see, all in yellow all the way down, interspersed with some commercial activity. This is actually blue here too, and this is the parking garage. So you get some sort of indication uh, of the physical situation. Uh, at each table, one of our team members uh, will act as uh, MC, uh, what we want you to do is to consider both the general and the particular about this area. I mean, we, we want definitely to hear from you about the values, uh, and, and Yana will go into this aspect in just a second, uh, as well as the physical issues. So as we formulate uh, uh, recommendations, uh, they, they run the gamut uh, of all considerations. Uh, so that e each group, uh, w we, we plan to work for a while, and then each group will report back. Okay, I'm going to um, place on each of the tables uh, a draft summary of our last meeting. Um, it's intended since I wrote a lot of notes, we did have it filmed as well, um, to give you a sense of what was said, also to provide some uh, basis and reference for making considerations as you're looking at uh, this northern section of, of Witherspoon Street. Um, I'm going to just go over what uh, came out of the meeting as uh, values. Witherspoon Street is valued for the shared experience it engenders, the fami familiarity of people and places it supports, the history of its neighborhoods it is home to, and the diversity of uses and people it serves. It is our street. And these are based on actual comments that were made with, with uh, a bit of poetic connectioning points uh, to make it a complete thought. Uh, I, we go on into sort of five other areas where we looked at the roles of Witherspoon Street and often there were terms used, some anatomical and some were, in other words, descriptive of its function. The spine, which was binding the skeleton of other streets in the network. The artery, which was moving people, goods, and services through the community. The heart, the vital organ that drives all functions and the spirit in the community. Main Street, the importance of its place in the life of the community. 
A gateway, as Michael just mentioned, providing access to the center of town and as a corridor for purposes of studying the position, function, and nature of the street and land uses. And that's what we're engaged in. Characteristics, which were, I guess, defined as predominant and preferred, perhaps, were residential character, trees and the tree canopy, people sitting on porches, and liveliness. The concerns, which are certainly much to do with not only the um, issues of character and perhaps some of the physical issues, but were also of process. Redevelopment as a legal process, determination and action, neighborhood preservation, buildings, character, and residence, historic, archaeologic, and anthropologic preservation, the difference between beautification and preservation, the impact on other connecting streets, and the process of zoning and implementation. Physical observations were the un unkept properties, vehicular traffic, pedestrian bicycling dangers, sidewalk conditions and maintenance, inconsistent and insufficient lighting, a need for improved bus stops, and alternate modes of, of mobility, which were in part a solution. As Michael mentioned, uh, your, your task may appear not to be uh, one where you're looking at the map and considering physical aspects of, of the space, but it's not without consideration of, of the who and the how. Uh, that things happen and we want that discussion to to flourish amongst your tables I think he's mentioned that there is a team member and I don't know if we described our team at the last meeting in terms of actual uh, consultants and that this this uh, effort is uh, hoped to be um, provided with quite a bit of professional input we have uh, a team of uh, planners and architects, as well as uh, zoning and legal experts. Um, I don't know if, Michael, you want to give the, the list, um, but we want to introduce him. Um, we also have, we'll hope to engage and if we should receive the funding that we're pursuing. Um, other experts, uh, a zoning and legal expert, uh, Norman Marcus from New York City, uh, traffic, uh, transportation planning uh, firm as well. Um, Shirley Satterfield, who is not here, she uh, is part of a historic uh, preservation um, uh, input on this project and uh, there is also a process which I mentioned I think at the last meeting which we'd like to engage any and all of those who are interested in an advisory committee who would continue to work through uh, many of the issues technical um, many of them um, for additional meetings so you have to really be a hardcore <laughs> to, to uh, want to be involved. But um, there are some people who have volunteered and there are some people we'd like to have participate because we know they have the, they either have experience, uh, level of interest uh, and knowledge, or um, particular you know expertise. So um, we're going to be looking uh, by January to pull all of the results from this meet, these meetings, these three in December into uh, further work to uh, aid in our other steps in the, in the project. So, I guess we should get started. Now, there should be a scribe at every table because our filming challenge is that we're not going to be able to pick up everyone's voice. Um, and as you uh, will probably be needing to do some sketching, I'm going to bring some uh, trace, um, points should be noted. Uh, by one of your table mates, and we'll have a roving camera. Okay? So, get started. Is this Henry? Yes, Henry. 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 
maybe more or less the center line of Henry and, and for reasons we'll talk about in a bit, maybe along the back of the packet buildings, connecting back into the township, uh, public works garage, part of their public works facility, the other piece of township public works facility is right here, um, community park school, it's fields. The swimming pool complex, the parking lot to the uh, east, the new municipal building. Um, yes, I would like a piece of paper. Some houses are kind of sitting on the corner here. The Valley Road building, and then at the building that Michael explained down here. I think that's pretty much the extent of what we're looking at. Why not down to Franklin, which would then include the hospital? Because we're going to do that next Saturday morning. And the following Saturday morning, we're going to do the John Curtis oh, Booth section. So we're going to carve this into three How sections. How are you dealing with municipal boundaries? Today we're going to roughly ignore them, although we have to understand they are issues. That's my but point. I think for the purpose of trying to identify values and goals and maybe some what if scenarios, for a moment let's assume that um, you know each municipality would have their own local issues. But uh, we want to try to take a collective vision of the, of the general Princeton. That boundary does, in fact, run. Well, actually, the boundary right through the hospital. The boundary is right back here. So I think, in large part, it's fair to say we're talking about township section of Witherspoon today, and that wasn't the reason we picked that location, but more as a reason to uh, keep the hospital for discussion next week. We can really chew into that one issue seriously. The hospital alone? Yes, sir. Where does the borough end and the township start? Right, in the middle section. right oh, back here. <coughs> right behind uh, this so the hospitals and the borough is the Burge. This is me. So basically, it's like so it's quite the direct. Yeah. Usually, it's mostly in the borough. Town talking township. Back around. Go to the building. Come there. That's not the <laughs> well, don't come with good recommendations. <laughs> <laughs> Susan Hockaday, a member of the Steering Committee of Princeton Future, and I can't resist situations like this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Robert Geddes, and neither can I. Um, I'm co-chair of Princeton Future, and um, I live with, you continue out and go to a shelter. Give us some thoughts. I wish, I wish I had photographed the building a year or two ago, actually. Because um, there are things that I know have changed, and no, I don't know. Although I remember that there were things I liked that changed it to something worse, and then I don't have a record anymore of the history you know, of recent history, which frustrates the heck out of me. But one of the first things that I looked at is what is the Prince of Master Plan currently saying about this portion of the street. Um, and it says Princeton's land use priorities. Uh, these are just clips that relate to this section. Princeton land use land use priorities are preserving the existing character of the community. So that's that's the the, the mission in one sense. The 1996 land use plan endeavors to maintain and enhance the diversity of residential options in Princeton. The scale and integrity of existing neighborhoods should be protected from incursions by incompatible land uses or changes in density. The balance of mixed residential business buildings and neighborhoods should similarly be retained. 
the appearance and pedestrian environment of Witherspoon Street should be improved. Existing trees should be retained. Lower Witherspoon Street is intended to provide areas for small-scale retail and office needs of the community while preserving their essential residential character and existing residential units in the use. What what you're saying and what is existing. I zone. understand that. I understand okay. that. This district permits office and retail activity on the condition that some residential use is maintained. Okay. So I think. I believe that's no, it's that's this talking this about this it's, oh, it's no, a no, regional no, plan. It's a regional plan. No, no, no. So it's, it's a zone and it's talking it's particularly about Lower Witherspoon. That's right. And so that is that's what actually starts to become really interesting. Is that and, and I, I don't think that this is actually terribly unusual. I mean, in terms of like Princeton somehow being so unique. What happens is that you have some zones, uh, you write a master plan, and the two things conflict, and the zoning isn't updated to necessarily reflect that master plan. Um, and so, uh, but I think that the most important thing is um, to understand what is that, what is that vision that we have, that our town has, um, as, because because it's, it's okay to talk about you know, all the little particulars, but unless we can sort of get our heads wrapped around, you know, the big picture, the main idea, what is our vision, what is our mission, then, uh, you know, we just get caught up in a lot of little details and be surprised that we haven't ended up with something that we want. And I don't think that change is scary. Change is, is part of everything that is who we are every day. We wake, we wake up. We're a little bit different than we were the day before. E everything is in constant motion, and that's actually something that we, we should all feel pretty comfortable with. The question is, is the change moving in the direction that is comfortable, or is it moving in a direction that's uncomfortable? So I think that that whole big picture thing is, is really, really important, and the fact that we can identify areas where <laughs> Areas where uh, that vision um, is not being supported, then uh, you know, and uh, obviously they need. If you want to view what the area should look like, how should be preserved, um, there's a master plan, and I think that's important. We, we well, the, what does master plan say? The master plan says. I'm looking at the B's, RB's zoning that. I don't know what is in the township part. R6. And all these civic buildings are in R6, but of course they have a spot zoning, if you will, determined by their existence. So sort of they came first, the zoning came after, now it's maintained, and, and until we say, well, get out of here, that's what it is. So it's become more valuable. It's important to look at that in the sense that this is. This too is uh, sort of it in embedded in the residential. Yes. Well, uh, maybe I can keep it outside as well. We use, we walk every day to a community park. No, that's park not the rule. Someone, someone else has to be someone else. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah, yeah. Uh, no. I'm certainly no, we've been around so using we've made our the pool in summer. Mm -hmm. I'm using the uh, township hall. I'm using some of the shops, the hospital if I have to, and I attended some course. Uh, the uh, resource center. Is the yeah, yeah, yeah. <coughs> As to the rest of Witherspoon, I avoid it like the plague because of the traffic mm -hmm. and the bad condition of the roads. It's so narrow. So if I have to go to the library, I don't take Witherspoon. I take 206 and then uh, Paul Robeson. 
but you don't walk as far as the library. Uh, well, maybe on I a good should. better day. <laughs> I should, <laughs> but uh, I usually walk mm -hmm. here, but uh, to the hospital already I take the car or with the grandchildren, of course, take the car to the yeah. Well, then to tie into your question is the master play says this part, good part of this Right. part of Witherspoon is zoned residential. But the reality is yeah, that yeah, large, the yeah. same large part of the same piece is not functionally. This and it is not, and it's valued by various right. people. Yeah. From, from so there to the hospital yeah. mm -hmm. is B1. Okay. B1, so does anybody remember what B1 means in township? Uh, is it business slash residential? Yeah. Probably it's primary business. This so is a, a dentist. Oh, okay. yeah. it's, it's small business, like the, the number, I think. And the town, the town topics. topics. Town topics is going to be this. But I mean, it's, it's like small yeah. businesses. I, 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 we sort of looked at the town topics when it showed up in the newspaper. I think <coughs> the zoning is similar to RB in the borough, which is residential right. slash business. It was originally. Yeah. And it's the, RB. yeah. So, so it's the same concept that it's a mixed use is encouraged exactly. and required. Right. So, in t if Town Topics comes and says we <coughs> all we want all of this building to be offices, warning right. signs. <laughs> okay. But the, but the municipality basically approves the complete conversion of or up to use. Well, but and until that's, that's until a, zoning well, changes, that's, then that's each problem. thing is yeah. 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 Well, it could be a problem. Going, like, In some people's eyes, it's not a problem because they want to see that all, all retail. Mm -hmm. And, I think and in some people's eyes, it's not a problem. And in some people's eyes, they see that as a problem because even though the first question is should be any things that are being brought it should be residential. But it was decided at some point in time, probably for some purposes of the properties. We were somewhat excited. Business, you know, residential. Being Irish. B6, it's called. It would all be B8. And the residential uses are not being used. And they're not. And business, the combined residential business, is not. It's not. It's not. And that's what the town topics hope they will do. And they assume they will be allowed to. And there's there's also a there actually are more businesses. There's a, this is a business now. I believe this is also for the whole thing, so I'm not sure of this completely yet, yeah. is that in general, all residences should remain residential. I don't know how we say that, because it's written in the rule book now that people, this is a business opportunity for people. <coughs> it increases property value yeah, to the particular value. owner, yeah, how you tell the them. On the other hand, but. we also want to prevent, I think, mm -hmm. enlargement of footprints. Mm -hmm. at the same time. In other words, that in this building should not A1 become all red, 
-hmm. and become that big. Right. So uh, that's my take. I, I agree with that. The problem is this. I mean, this is how this started. And it's going to keep continue creeping south. Even though the talent is not controlled by the zone. It's the, the basics will be in place. These were all residences. Now, some of those buildings continue to look residential, even though they are businesses. I, I didn't see signs in front of the one that you said is now on the count. That's what I took as the measure of putting on this map what was business. That these two well, people have. I think, yep. yeah, I think they're all. Okay. Yeah, they're practically. I think maybe business. a sidewalk survey may be a good thing to overlay. You don't see well, signs hanging out, but they're businesses. Yeah, you don't allow big signs in the residential Absolutely. neighborhood. So yeah, right. yeah. <laughs> they're small. And I don't know how that was zoned before, but each one of them. Because you got the hospital separated. Yeah, you so got a powerful. pretty big block of uh, commercial and public stuff and yeah. oriented this way. So what it seems like Susan's noticing is that this looks like you're driving through a residential neighborhood. And here it's clear you're not. You're at the edge. I, you're not sure I, you're right. Right. But, So you're People talking about, especially for that block. Yeah. You're talking yeah. about, yeah, you're talking about what it looks like. So if this, I, mean, I know that's a school, but if this looked like that, it it'd have the same feeling. Feel. Yeah. A very yeah. different yeah. feeling. I but like agree, but I'm just telling you how or is it built? We talk. I mean, well, I'm not saying either. It's, 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 just, it's just making it look like. We're talking about the relationship of this side to that side. Well, it's the fact that they also tightened up the relationships between the people in those houses since they are, you know, a, a group within a We're an space. Island. Yeah. I consider ourselves an island. But, to a degree. But, but, we no, are, but you are but part of the fabric of this, this zone right, right here, yeah. isn't that, is that fair? That's well, well, correct. Well, given yeah, that as, and, as a, and, and quite frankly, the reason you're not a, just roll part of the down. fabric <laughs> across the street is over the years, there were houses across the street, as you all know. Sure. Across here. Where yeah. the school is? I did not know that. Yes, there were houses across the street. Now, when you got to the school where Community Park is now, and going towards the municipal building, that was open space and was the community garden. Here. Which incidentally were, In here? were, were, were dedicated dump. to, no that's not the dump, the dump was an old Elm Road, quite frankly. That was back. Yeah, way here. back there. The, no, that was the community gardens and quite frankly, an historic community because you couldn't go anyplace else. It was also an athletic field. Right. Was it, a, was it an area where people grew stuff or was it Oh yeah, a, absolutely. Oh, right. It was community gardens and open space. Yeah. That along In here, came, roughly yeah, where the parking yeah, lot and, is. And then along oh. came the, uh, All the, way back. the uh, recreation complex. Oh, and that was the place for that and that was an opportunity for a greater town use for that. But the stretch on this side, that, uh, where he lives, that has become victimized, of course, by spot zoning and institutional and business uh, interests uh, that really demolished the residential character of that block. The only business down in that area originally was from Mr. Conte. Right here. Yeah, on the corner. Uh, Tanga Garage was primarily residential. Uh, that is to say, the buildings there were residential buildings. Tanga Garage was in the, in the back there. And the history of businesses in that community was simply because they allowed them by kind of a look the other way variance because you couldn't go uptown to participate in the businesses because you were kind of isolated and segregated. So that there were allowances. In fact, you find that as you go back into Birch and Lee, uh, where you find there are some residual of some commercial businesses, and people say it's already commercial. The reason you had it was because you couldn't go uptown to purchase anything. So the, the borough, the municipality said, okay, we'll, we'll permit this back there, but they're to serve the neighborhood specifically. And then that growth took place where, okay, so everybody's going to serve the neighborhood. And then you had this spot zoning coming up the street. Of course, the major thing that took place was uh, when they did change to a mixed use, residential and commercial, uh, on the master plan. And that was back during Kate Lidfax's term as mayor. I remember that specifically.
And then you got really into this kind of, by right, you could go in and get some spot zoning and get a commercial venture. The leading proponent, yeah, the leading proponent, strangely enough, was the packet. That's not strange at all. Let's identify what the packet has. The packet, the packet has this piece here, right? And all of that and was all of this stuff. And here. More. Oh, yeah, they own this. This guy. And then they, then they go, used know, to go they, down the street there, but I don't know why they still own that. Three houses old, here they have. Those, those three and houses, this, this building. Two, those three houses were owned by Mr. Garno Herring at one time. Herring, H-E-R-R-O-N. And he was kind of a, an entrepreneur among the African-American neighborhood. Jim, uh, are your concerns uh, about the the fact that they are businesses or that they're changing um, the scale of the impact building. Yeah, yeah, the yeah, yeah, absolutely. Not only changing the scale, but changing the the proportions, residential and and uh, and, and and businesses. But the fact that there are businesses, although you explained the history of them, is yeah. that in and of itself objectionable? If it's at the or more broadly scale. asked, are neighborhood businesses good things or bad things? Right. Indeed. No, or, or more broadly asked is, are residences more important than businesses in a residential okay, well, combined yeah. neighborhood? Exactly right. exactly. And, 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 yeah. That's questions. a good question. Yeah. Those are good. Those those, all those three are good of those questions. are good questions. And, and, and that's the point to be made. And when it comes to, really, the way the neighborhood is kind of degenerated, I don't know. Yes. 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 It, it took place through the kind of influence and spot zoning things over the years that said, right. and of course, attendant to that was this, this whole rising cost and all that kind of stuff that's in place now. Now, if you're looking at the future, which no one was looking at 20 years back, because they simply said, let it happen the way it is. If you're looking at the future and you're asking, what would you like to see it be? I think first off, you ought to stop the denigration of the kinds of businesses that are going in there. And this is- When you say denigration of the businesses, what do you mean? Well, what happens is this, quite frankly, look at what was residential. Right. And it's no longer residential. So you mean denigration- That didn't take place simply by people dying and, and the leaving. The Degradation is a better word. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And, uh, but so you mean- You're thinking from residential, residential to commercial. business is a- is a degradation of the property. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Okay. And, I got it. and an elimination of the people who were right. there. Right, living there. Yeah. Sure. Okay, so. How do, how do other people feel about that? Well, I think the scale of the business would have something to do with it, too. I, mean, I think it would be nice to have small businesses like grocery stores. Right, and let's so just on. talk about skip scale for a second. We'll come to that. Let's just talk about specific use. Or is 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 the is the flipping of existing residential structures into commercial structures in a case by case ad hoc basis a good thing or a bad thing? Should we go around? Can we the say? Table? Yeah. Why not? Yeah. Nancy. I think it's a very basic question. Uh -huh. In general, it's, uh, I don't want to say You can qualify, but you don't have to be 10 or 1. You could say no. 8 or 4. <laughs> it's something to be protected. Okay, the residential. The residential. Okay. You have to deliberately protect it, otherwise it goes. Okay. Yeah. Now, Alan. Uh, maybe and only if. What does that mean? What does that mean? <laughs> that means in some circumstances, and uh, for each circumstance, only if certain conditions are met. Okay, then I'm going to call it a defense of spot zoning, because that's what it sounds that's like. That's an ad hoc position. Yeah. yeah, that's what we have today. So, okay, next. My feeling is, in general, no. If the services that are needed by the residents are available somewhere, okay. it, you know, where they can get them. Okay. Strongly no. I, mean, I, I believe that the whole idea that started these discussions some years ago, four or five years ago, was the creep of the downtown into the neighborhoods. What's really incredibly uh, fragile and concerned, valuable, is the fact that the downtown or uptown and the neighborhoods are continuous. The, and, and then w when the downtown creeps into the neighborhood, it's killing the neighborhood. And I think that that has to be opposed, whether it's Mercer Hill or the Tree Streets or this. I mean, each one of these neighborhoods has its own character, its own character, its own nature. And the nature of that neighborhood, as you've 
described it, is is extremely important. It's, it's, it's the well, I think this little slice of view of these three or four blocks brings that issue clearly into focus really exactly. because of that remnant block there. Yeah. So it's yeah. a good, this is a good exactly. test case. So yeah. your exactly. firm no. Um, I agree with Susan. I think it's too late to turn back. Oh, don't say this is a oh, what no, if. No, 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 no. We're just doing trade. No, you, you get to no. choose. We're don't not going to run out and build anything. You've got tomorrow. total power so here ever say for one late. sentence. Oh no! This is, well, this is where it's going to happen. happen. <laughs> We're gonna, it doesn't stop now. It's not going to stop. That's right. It doesn't happen on this right. table. And it's going we don't, to We don't change. want to lead your response, it sounds like. <laughs> <laughs> so, so well, Alice, let me bring it home to you. What if Valley started turning spot use into commercial? How would you yeah, feel about I that? Would that? You'd hate that, would you? <laughs> okay, fair enough. Okay. Uh, that's how you get things very residential. clear. <laughs> hmm? Residential, okay. <laughs> All right, this is press, okay. Well, what I'm impressed with is the idea that we become, instead of just defensive, defending against downtown creep, what would happen if we became proactive in trying to create new residential, uh, new residential possibilities? How would you do that? Work. The economic work. It's already been done here. Correct. And I'm thinking of uh, Hendrix Davis's comment about uh, uh, taking over this uh, parking lot at one time uh, in another, another issue. And it, it, the well, idea of being proactive about the hospital site and uh, other places that, that come, become available is a huge, uh, complicated idea, but know, interesting. But, not, but, but do it currently on the scale of our three Saturday mornings, so let's <laughs> run with it. Yeah, so, sure. so are you are you supporting residential as existing fabric? I'm supporting your neighbors, whatever the neighbors want. Well, I, I, well, I basically got. count six people Michael, are you going to vote? There is a model in Trenton that every corner house is allowed to be a residential business where the person who's running the business has to live in the house. And it was corners a very... Are, corners are great sites for things It was like a that. very strong fabric that would bring small communities so together. Right. But as it becomes no longer useful, all the stores default to 100% residential. And that's the model the in corner. Trenton. That's the happened, lower. you mean? Yeah. That is happening now. That they're defaulting. They are defaulting what? to residents. They're not defaulting to businesses. To more businesses. The houses are made specifically to be multi-use, but they default to, to... Okay. So at our table, we have six strong voices in support of uh, maintaining the existing residential fabric. Would you count me twice? <laughs> Seven strong voices. Do you want to ask Jim to speak? He didn't, or did he speak? I'd be delighted to speak, and, I, and, and while we're talking about the future, hopefully. Uh, the primary credo, if I remember, the master plan is the preservation of residents. Does everyone agree with that? Everyone know that? And if that's the primary credo, I don't know why we can't start with that. As opposed to saying that, you know, allow this, allow that, allow residents, period, yes. Uh, you have two votes. Residences be different than residential You say out of this, and I'm answering his question. No, I, you no, don't, I don't need clarification from you. I, I want to. I just want to know. Subjugated. Where people live. Pedestrian. Right. Is that okay? Is that something So that's. I don't know how the hell you do that. No. <laughs> Speed bumps. No. <laughs> so. On your point about uh, this area. But that's, that will help preserve the residential character because yeah. it, if. If it. If I can't hear him. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, I was just thinking that that's obviously there are several gateways to getting into downtown Princeton. This is one of the key ones because it, people traveling from the north and that's they the would come this route, way yeah. or that way. Yeah. Most likely they take with that's is why this is why we see a lot of traffic in Witherspoon. Yes. Uh, and so whatever it's done here, it's, it's very critical. You know, because if you invite more traffic, it's going to make it worse. So I think, if anything, you have to discourage the, any more uh, opening of traffic you know, or making it more welcome, welcoming to go into Or at least slow it down, not that, that it's fast. 
at the point. Most of the traffic on Wednesday is south. So. I, I, that's what it is. I, the way don't know. The way don't know we don't have any have a, You have a feeling about that? Well, I walk on Witherspoon almost every day. And I always say, thankfully, because I walk from my house to town. To town. You don't need that. So you come out on I usually, well, I choose to walk up John Street a lot because there's less traffic. Um, and people are friendly. But that doesn't mean you necessarily should have But I often will walk back down to the with a student and say, thankfully, I'm not in my car because the, it's backed up almost to the hospital. Um, um, from the then, then you're going to get I really think there's more traffic than just lights. Well, no. Well, I, I so, a lot of traffic. I live on with a school, yeah. so I see this every day. I mean, I see them backed up by my house. But then if, if that much traffic were going the other, the same amount of traffic traveling south were traveling north and you had lights, you would have a backup. Right. If you had a light down. If you had a light, you'd have a backup. Have a backup that's right. That's why I say it's light. So that's why I say it's light. Because that, there's lights that well, that's, that, that, that light is the reason of that backup. There's too much traffic. Yeah, well, we can't couple things I'd like mm -hmm. to make sure I understand. You were talking about the park systems and the school properties and whatnot, and I thought I heard of improving them. And so, yeah, what do you want to I would only say that, that what I mean by that is where we could have better landscaping. Mm -hmm. That's all I mean. Okay. Landscape. So landscape, my, my thought about this is that this area is one that would stand improvement through the end. Okay. Yeah, I wanted to understand. I, 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 I'm not interested I didn't in adding see it to in the or, in too much, uh, or enlarging. Well, the pool apparently, uh, to me, the other thing that might be improved is this pool is very awkwardly located. This parking lot is a huge interference with this as a part of space, although it's needed. Yes. Um, it, it's sort of, uh, uh, so to me, also the circulation back in here is kind of awkward. So it would all be working this out as, as a better part. Could there be improved pedestrian ways? Could there be improved trees and maintenance? It's all and then my yeah. second question, and um, is, is the, the concept of the gateway, and I, I think we heard a couple perspectives of could it be improved um, to, to flow better or whatnot, and then there's the concern of, well, do you want it to flow better? Do you want it actually to slow down traffic, actually? And, and as, as right, I agree with that, that part of the traffic management is really... And and it uh, you know I was down there to get and some to money some money this morning and because, uh, I was I was looking at that area having grown up here I know that area and it's, it's I'm still not sure and I spoke at the last meeting about this you know and, and, you know one person wrote in the newspaper that this lower end collapses into chaos I I, I consider those. That type of statement's a, a myth, and I think this whole, I'm not sure about the gateway concept that things have to be, you know, to, to say, Prince, you know, to be this beautiful gateway. There ain't that much, in my opinion, wrong with it now. How about the trucks? How, how about it? It's a reality of life. They have to be somewhere. They may not be there long, Yeah, they may not. No, they don't have to be there, but they have to be somewhere. Do they have to be on Harrison's on the corner? But they, you know, it, but it's not that big. And I worry about changes based on collapsing in chaos when it is because that to you sounds inflammatory when it... And it's meant to be inflammatory yeah. to get you to change stuff. Mm -hmm. I see this uh, structure with the drugs there all the time. It doesn't buy me. So I can't be seen something nice to have. How about the traffic from the truck? And neither do I. No, there's a drop in the traffic. I think it's a drop in the back of the thing in comparison to the truck. We're going to recommend keeping the truck. No. no, we don't make any recommendation about it. We address the issues that need to be addressed. I think we should be recommending that uh, the res residential, that the neighborhood that is existing in this area should be maintained. And we should make a recommendation as to how we, 
how that should be achieved. <coughs> I would go one step further. I would say that residential use, uh, perhaps primarily mixed residential use, should be encouraged in redevelopment of capital properties. And we have opportunities here and challenges. One is Valley Road building. It's sitting, I don't know exactly what's <coughs> going on there now, but it could have senior housing, it could have housing, it could have community facilities, it, it could have school board offices, it has community facilities. It's, 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 I suspect that's the place you transition in the next five yeah, years. Yeah, I think that's an area of concern of what use that building and will become. And yes. which way it goes matters to us and matters to this. Right. Let's not use gateway, what? Uh, entry point <laughs> into <laughs> the think, neighborhood. I think the, uh, any development is This is the one that we're talking about. It has always been intended that, that the master plan would spur laws which can't. That right, because that, yeah, right, that's what you have to do. That's why it, it doesn't match. The other problem with the master plan is that and this is again something that Princeton Future pointed out to us. It was a very valuable thing. It was and you you went to Marvin's meetings on Princeton Future's plan for the downtown so that things are scattered throughout it because of the way the state wants the master plan written. You cannot necessarily put together a whole picture unless you go through all the various parts of the land use and transportation and so on to see what it says about your particular piece of place. But uh, I think that we should deal with what we've got. I mean, this is what preservationists do when they look at it. They say, what's here? You know, if we restored it, would it look better? You know, would it have certain cohesion and so on? But I don't think that you know, the myth of what Princeton was once and what we're going to restore at this point. I think the preservation is actually working with a number of preservation architects. Um, and I think that our firm has a pretty strong record of preservation. Um, and watching the preservationists and having, you know, helped out. I would definitely not call myself a preservation. The very first thing that they do is go back and look at the history of the place, try to understand what's left, what's um, valuable, why was it valuable. They, they look at all of those things in making decisions about what to do in the future. They don't just say, okay, here's what we have now. The wanderers told us what the history was. Let, let me it's point not. something out to you. In 1980, the Borough and Attention Commission of the Historic Sites Survey Whole town, and that's what the ordinances for the borough and the township that started the historic preservation review committee and the historic preservation commission of the township were based on it. Each street was done with a streetscape in 1980. This document is available in the public library. It's available at Bainbridge House. The university has a copy. Is it just the borough? No, it's the borough and the township. You can sit and, and look at what the streetscape was 25 years ago. It was done, all of us did some supervision, and it was done by a team from the Columbia Preservation Program. This is this is something worth looking at because it's surprising how little town has changed overall. Can, can I say so? We we don't have very much time. We have two huge areas along the section of street that we're looking at, and a whole series of small ones that are facing tremendous pressure, tremendous pressure. The hospital is right now in the middle of a task force, Valley Road, everybody's looking at, nobody's talking to each other about it, and, and all those little residences have all kinds of little backroom things going on uh, over them. I think what, what Heidi was trying to present to us is one possible view that we could take into the future, not necessarily, and, and if there are historical bases, that's only because history is interesting, it is something we live with, as you know better than any of us probably, Wanda, but the idea of a street as a, as a, as a town commons is, is fascinating to me, and I think it is 
a worthwhile consideration when we're looking at Witherspoon. That's why we've been having all these meetings about Witherspoon Street itself, since most of Princeton Future has focused on the borough, and I'm delighted to see it come out now as far as Valley Road. And and um, and the history, as, as Wanda knows, is also fascinating, but I think we need in the next 20 minutes or whatever we have uh, to move along a little bit so that we can actually have something to present to the group in terms of what ideas all of us have. I think we've heard from a few people, but we really haven't heard from a couple other people. And now we have new folks <laughs> in the group. Do you, oh, uh, you're reporting, right? You're okay. reporting. Well, I'm happy to say, well, excuse you me for my voice, I don't think I'm lethal, otherwise I wouldn't oh. <laughs> It's just a sore throat. I'm not sneezing, I'm not coughing, but I'll talk in the paper. Yeah. Um, we can't hear you. You can't. Spread right. germs. I'll just spread it's the good germs. good for the milk. <laughs> okay. Help your immune system resist every kind of germ. Um, and I didn't hear what the setup was for Dave. Really. I'm sorry. It was at another meeting. But... Um, I, I've always felt that Witherspoon Street is um, a mixed-use neighborhood and retail, basically, and it, that that's the vision we should keep, and um, and that it's more important to me in the whole Witherspoon Street area to do everything we can to try to keep um, modest homes at a variety of prices on the homes and the, and the retail space, and to not let institutions begin to overwhelm not only this area, but also all of Princeton. And I, I, I think that there is, just one, one more issue, I think there tends to be institutional creep in Princeton because we have so much money and so many high-powered people and so many talented people that, that every institution wants to expand, wants to have more concerts, more lecture halls more theaters, more ballet, more whatever it is. And I think there's just so much we can do that way. And that it's, to me, we've got to really be sure to balance just the neighborhood and homeowners. Because what I see happening more and more is it's the homeowners that come to say, please, you know, think of us as you're letting the Princeton Ridge expand to have apartment buildings. You know, that wasn't part of the master plan. Please think of us as the high school is expanding, having a bigger theater. Westminster wants to expand, have more and more concerts at this larger theater. And there's... And if the neighborhood groups come out, then everybody says, oh, they're just newbies. Well, they're not just newbies. They are important citizens trying to keep some needs. <laughs> 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 I really would like to see the mixed use maintained and not to lose very many of these houses as residences. And keep keep them on the scale that they are. Um, I don't know. I guess all I mean, of them I think could there's actually businesses. almost as much pressure from um, uh, retail and business as there is from the institutions. Yes. Yeah. I think that you know retail and office is just as strong. What are we charging? Yeah. A million dollars yeah. an acre yeah, at the exactly. moment? It just seems to me it's, it's, it's easy yeah. for it to it's become retail, sort of so. uh, this monoculture. Yeah. You know, up and down the street, and you lose the the whole. The whole idea of yeah, it's easy for it to become that. Yeah. And, yes, I should have included retail and office. Yeah. Right. Letting then offices I'm 100% come in down here is a exactly by, behind yeah. what you're saying, and I think so that that's, institutions retail that would be and office space so could overwhelm could, this. Could we have Phyllis finish? Because yes. <laughs> we're all institutions, and and right. uh, we have very few pure residents here. Mm -hmm. I'd like to hear from one. I mean, we're all residents, but we all have. I'm only here on the Okay, and yes. I yes. think we got a problem here because we got this township business zone that abuts, uh, I mean, uh, the borough business zone that abuts a more, township. Township. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, township. A more residential um, township. township part of it. And we got to figure out a way to make that transition. If the borough piece is mainly zoned as business and the township piece is mainly zoned as business, if you look at the borough zoning, uh, there's a small section that is business, a mixed use situation, an RV, and all the rest is R4. So 
we are trying to preserve residential stuff. And they've got the zoning in place. And the zoning that. in place to do that, although everyone comes and says, well, why don't we just take John Street yeah. here and turn it into something? Um, one of the things we haven't addressed is the traffic issue. Oh. And we talked tremendously about how the country, I know it's how it's never find local and feels, but in the most part of that, that's going to be determined by these two. Well, it's not a problem. Not entirely. Oh, come on, it's swimming pool. Well, there's also a lot of that kind of crazy. It's the light. You've already got a problem. You've got a bottle now. How many of your bed baths, how many pools? Well, yeah, but realize everything here in the township road is wide. Witherspoon Street is wider. As soon as you hit the, the, the borough, it's narrow. One of the issues on Witherspoon, I know, but one, one, of, one of the issues in the, in the borough, the street is narrow and they have parks. It, it, it was a major constriction. This area here, one reason why I believe it developed in terms of history is the street is wider. And there was open land. Big institutional things and commercial things are in here. Um, and there's fewer trees. Oh, boy. Yeah. Many fewer trees. So this is an open area. Fewer trees means no, 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 no. But it doesn't feel no, no. like your constraint. It's wide open. Yes. It's meant to be open. How many people walk to these institutions? Most people don't walk. But most people don't. I, I walk. Well, I mean, what did you Here's the parking lot. And may I also add this in the mix? I spoke with Jack Roberts, the director of uh, Parks and Recreation. And he says in the five to ten year time frame, the swimming pool complex will be looked at for redesign. Not for moving, not for relocation, but probably they'll uh, maybe, worst case, in 10 years have to rebuild the pools, at which point the swimming pool complex could be redesigned within its boundaries. I said, um, Jack, just, just thinking out loud here, what if uh, the parking lot has some issues and some problems with, with the people? What if the parking lot and the swimming pool complex were reconsidered? He said, that could easily be on the table. So there's a sort of flexible potential in 10 year time frame back in here. But uh, residential doesn't really start up. I guess we got a little right in here. And that's pretty much it for this, this session from be here. This should be a strike. They have office or have a bus. You know, really How about the, the Weirville Islands up here? The township has spent... Uh, Which is where they should have put the firehouse and you know, two or three neighbors in no way. Well, we got residential all down here. And residential here, and residential kind of poking right into this little piece there. Um, for years, people believed that was the most efficient traffic circulation system imaginable until the township spent a bunch of money investigating it. And after their long study and professional results came back, they decided in a weird kind of way it works. Um, the only the Valley Road connection to 206, Terhune cutting through here. No one would ever design this in traffic engineering school ever. They would be thrown out. But basically, what they came up with is. The most awkward position is 206, uh, excuse me, Witherspoon trying to get on to 206 and this whole, what, what Mount Lucas right. is supposed to do in the face of Witherspoon, that's, right. that's kind of the funkiest right. piece in there. Yeah. Um, but, but having Terhune being able to cut through in a way was deemed to be not so bad. And having Valley actually be able to get on and pull well, what through. Could this, what could this so what be? could that be? If this, this is a huge yeah. place. It could have been fire and objected to it. Right. That's where it's okay, supposed to go. Got to go forward, though. Well, yeah, what should it be? What we should it be? Should a not, not should. Could. Any could. What could, could it be? Right. Right. Well, well, answer obviously, my you question. Say, yeah. You say gateway for uh, one thing. I think it should be green emptiness. Green emptiness. Yeah. Could yeah. Yeah. Green yeah. fullness. That's better than what it is. Also, be. And it also, by the way, might remain. It's two little blocks. You know, I drew them together. A little but bar. Two little blocks. It's a bar now. The garden. So welcome to This could be an big clock. Like, like DF. Tease people out, but welcome people in. Right off to, it seems to me as a residential island, as a residential section, it's a, it's like a little... <laughs> it's a dichotomy. Yeah, it's a little island out. It's a buffer. It's a little Ooh. weirdness. Yeah. Well, certainly when you consider the impact of Mount Lucas, it's sort of connected to that Because really, for the most part, this commercial faces on 206. It sort of has its backs up against that street, and its impact isn't so bad. May, let me ask a question. Oh, Could the, that commercial just expand all the way down? Could this expand down into sure. here? Is that a, is that that's not downtown creep? That's another kind. Of right. That's two hundred six satellite creep. Yeah, but it should. Sure, it's, 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 it's 
but the thing yeah. is, will that create a traffic problem? I hear. I think that might. And you know, because people getting on and off of 206. What if the, if they the work as islands like and drive this around and yeah. people were this cutting in and out. What, what if they were yeah. just thought of as a possibility as we a buffer? Yeah. So, right. But the center of it was sort of, filled yeah, with the public the works garage. garage that they need. So right. you no, can get, so you can get that they stuff. Would out. That. They would that's relocate. So that becomes. Yeah. The I don't think entry that's large thing. enough for what they want for the new public works. The problem with that, I would see the whole thing is no. no. public works should go to River Road. Right, they're going to River Road. I, I, I predict, hope, in my mind, hopefully, the borough and the township will unite their public works system and build one place out on River Road and quit trying to run two unrelated systems. Yes. The thing is, is, this is the gateway that's it's been called. You don't know your internal plan. If you put the public works there, that's you want your public silly. works is the gateway? Hey, let's. <laughs> How hard is it to move a street? Could this go straight to this intersection? Then you.